Bennett's Fracture, Causes, Treatment, and Complications Explained Welcome to our medical video series, where we provide in-depth information on various medical topics. In this episode, we will explore Bennett's Fracture, a specific type of wrist injury. We'll cover its definition, causes, treatment options, and potential complications. Bennett's fracture is an oblique fracture that occurs at the base of the first metacarpal bone, which is the bone in the thumb. This type of fracture is often caused by a specific mechanism of injury. The mechanism of injury typically involves an axial loading of the partially flexed thumb metacarpal, such as delivering a punch with a clenched fist. When this happens, the thumb metacarpal bone can break, leading to a subluxation of the carpometacarpal joint. This fracture can be further understood by looking at the displacement of the two fragments. The ulnar fragment typically remains in place, while the radial fragment is displaced. The volar ulnar triangular fragment is held in place by the volar oblique ligament, while the radial distal fragment is displaced radially, dorsally, and proximally due to the pull of the abductor pollicis longus tendon. Now, let's discuss the treatment options for Bennett's fracture. Treatment can be divided into two categories. A non-operative treatment, fractures with minimal disruption of the articular surface, typically less than 1 to 2 millimeters, and minimal displacement can often be treated non-operatively. This involves closed manipulation, reduction of the fracture, and maintaining the reduction by placing the thumb in a spica cast for a period of 6 to 8 weeks. Via operative treatment, in cases where non-operative treatment isn't suitable, surgical intervention may be necessary. This can include closed reduction, open reduction, and fixation with K-wires. After surgery, the thumb is also immobilized in a thumb spica cast for 6 to 8 weeks. Like any medical procedure or injury, there can be complications associated with Bennett's fracture. It's essential to be aware of these potential issues. 1. Osteoarthritis of carpometacarpal joint. This may occur due to joint incongruity and injury to the articular surface during the fracture. 2. Stiffness and loss of mobility. Prolonged immobilization can lead to stiffness and loss of mobility in the carpometacarpal joint of the thumb. 3. Loss of reduction and recurrent subluxation. In some cases, the reduction may be lost leading to recurrent subluxation and instability of the thumb. For surgical complications, surgical procedures carry their own risks, including the possibility of infection and injury to the sensory branch of the radial nerve. In summary, Bennett's fracture is a specific type of injury at the base of the thumb metacarpal. Timely and appropriate treatment is crucial to prevent complications and ensure the restoration of useful function of the thumb. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of Bennett's Fracture. If you found this information helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative medical content. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll continue to provide valuable insights into various medical topics. Until then, take care of your health and stay informed.